That's the only way I can get game audio plus this. With XSplit? Yep. Really? Right, oh. They should be able to hear us now. All right. Everyone, welcome back. Uh, the, the K cam wasn't on yet. Hold on. Yeah, bring back your XSplit. Hold on. Put your XSplit window put, back quickly, there. Before uh, we lose, I want to see viewers. it. Quickly, before we lose viewers. got to fix everything one at a time. We're down to 28. Uh-oh. Oh. We gotta get the kick cam up as fast as possible. Look to my The camera is not available, yeah. and the chat is also not there. We're just having technical problems right now, guys. Yeah, uh, we're, we're trying, to, we're trying to refresh so Binding of Isaac actually works because it's a flash-based game, and flash-based games are fairly slow. So that right. guy has a 55 pack. Six thousand. A six thousand pack. No, it's over 9,000. <laughs> How did I know you were going to pull that one out? I didn't, actually. This I first think we time. Could get, I think we could get 9,000 over 9,000 views by the end of, of this. Okay, we just went up to 30. Woohoo! As soon as I said over 9,000. <laughs> oh, God, no. The over 9,000 is what's saving us. How is this happening? Vegeta, what is wrong with you? Um, the current total thing is a little glitched up. Yeah, I gotta recenter that as well. Oh, so the rest of the stuff is like, um... Screen capture. Okay, yep. and that one part is just from the page? Yep. Everything is screen captured. No, I know, but I didn't realize that you made the... Like, I kind of figured that you made it, but... If you made it, I thought you were using, like, a widget. Is the camera even turning on? No, it's not. Oh. We're getting died. more viewers. Oh, I think I know why we're getting more viewers. No, no, no. Because everyone loves technical difficulties. I, I thought um, we were getting more viewers because we were playing Isaac, but nobody would really know that because it isn't saying that we were playing Isaac. Don't bed yeah, safe. Fix that not too. make sense again. So no, much stuff I have to I do. No, because um, you can put, like, games in categories, and yeah. people search that kind of stuff up. Gotta apply that now. Yeah, I think we'll get a few viewers from that. We just lost six viewers. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Everyone's leaving. I thought people love technical difficulties. They What's do. Going on? The show is a lie. I'm going to see who's... No, only, only the cake stuff. can be a lie. No, the show is a lie. We're so professional. Only the cake can be a lie. All right, the. Okay. Now it's the binding of Isaac. Yeah, there's a few people uh, streaming that. Oh yeah, I'm sure that uh, Little Frag probably is. That's his number one game. Yeah, he's he's number one right now. He's oh, he's, he's awesome. Over to him. He's the man I hope we to would, be. I, wow. See, we'll be uh, number three or four. All right, uh, well, it looks like we're not getting the kitty cam, sadly. For right now, it's not working. Oh, no. So we're just going back to the 5 Day Gamers Marathon logo right now. Why can't we get the kitty cam? Do you have, like, a picture of the cat that you can put up there? And it's still fairly laggy. Um, none that I'd actually want to put up there. Did you disable all the affinities? Yeah, I gotta do that, too. Isaac is not a friend. Could not be completed. What? Try that again. Close it out and do that. Say what? What is going on? I don't think it has anything to do with Skype. Skype's not really a Flash-based game. <laughs> or flash-based program either. This is not a game. <laughs> Skype game. is a Unity player-based game. <laughs> oh. I think we all need to go to bed soon. Probably. Don't. Try this again. <laughs> Skype is my favorite game. <laughs> by, Mine too. By the Pope in 98. Yay! There we go. Okay, disable cores one and two. That's oh, going a little bit more smooth. 
But for those wondering, these are my current stats on the Binding of Isaac. Right, let's try and take the battery out of the camera that might Mom help. kills? What? Like I said, this is a very messed up game. I'm going to have to watch this uh, part of the stream later on when I, after I go to bed. Well, you're definitely going to have to. It's a great game. Freaky, but great. Are you, are you changing the game you're playing? Wait, I got the camera working. What type of lap is that? 98 secrets, yeah. There's, uh, <laughs> one of the secrets is technically the Platinum God, which you get for collecting all the other secrets, so that puts you at 98 of 97. We may just get the kitty cam back. <gasps> and everyone rejoices. No, I actually keep the cat away. I don't want to see him. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You're not welcome here. <laughs> You're a horse. Oh, thank you. I love you, too. Uh, who wants to be in the chair? You or you? <laughs> you or you or you. <laughs> I heard that. I heard... And just to bribe you to stay... Okay, Seaman doesn't want the cat. Whoa, whoa, yeah. we're up to 50... We're up to 32... Oh. Yeah. oh. Oh. Velvet is taking some initiative. Kitty Cam is back. Hey, Glockia, how you doing? Yeah. Alright, so, Kitty Cam's back. The clock is up there. Chat. The donation total. Everything looks to be fine. I'm going to start a religion based on my cat. <laughs> Alright, so the game's a little bit laggy. Um, it's not that smooth. However, we're going to work with what we've got. Are you Christian or Catholic, Belvist? <laughs> She's non-denominational. So if you find all the secrets, your the title screen has that super pimp, super pumped guy. Yeah, super platinum god. All right. So since we're playing the Binding of Isaac, there are I believe seven characters. Which character does everyone want me to play? Those of you who have actually played the Binding of Isaac. There's the dead baby. There's Eve. There's Judas, Cain, Magdalene, Isaac, and Samson. The dead baby. What? Kane, Maggie, Eve, Samson. Two for Eve. Three for Eve. Hold on. What, what's that question mark one? That's dead baby. What, what, what's up with them? Uh, he. It uh, looks like dead baby is winning, so it looks like I'm going to be doing the dead baby run. Yippee. Oh, joy. Thanks, guys. We get to start off with the poop. That is our space bar item. The poop. The poop. The poop. Not the best item. It doesn't sound like it. Oh, you know what? I just remembered something. Something I need to correct. Music. On. Mute off. That way you guys can enjoy the wonderful music of Danny B, the guy who, created, who did the music for this game. Yeah, we're fourth on the um, Isaac streams. Are we really? Nice. Yeah. We could be third if we got like. Uh, and that's the poop. Followers. Every few of... rooms, you can activate the poop. Oh, good lord! There's so much lag. Um, I might have to do some more fiddling around with the affinities. Wait, wait, how are you getting lag on that skin again? Because it's a flash-based game. Yeah, but I wouldn't imagine it takes that much um, computer power. Oh no, it's too... Um, yes! For a second there, I was going to say I might need to restart this again, but I just got the D6. I'm not restarting this. Dead Baby with the D6, win! The D6 allows you to re-roll any item in the game. Like, for example, I picked up the D6 and I put down the poop. I use the D6 and I can... Oh, the mirror? Screw that. Now I can turn that poop into another item. It turned into the mirror, which isn't that great of an item. The key is gone. I don't get it. 
Uh, the mirror is an item that reflects your shots and makes them come back at you. Blue baby, dead baby. He's known by many names. Uh, oh the key God. is gone. Yeah, sadly. My other cat might jump in there, up there in a second, though. Shady's just going to call him question mark, question mark, question mark. This, yeah. like, this isn't as laggy as Minecraft can be. It's just very slow. I'm just it's chugging like, along. This is like Super Meat Boy. Yeah, it's, it's made by having... the same guy. Oh, really? Because yep. it has the same graphical set. Oh, I was just saying that. that would be why. You'll actually notice a lot of different characters from Super Meat Boy in this game. Oh, I've never played Super Meat Boy, but I can recognize the graphics. Um... Yeah. Yeah, same here. Okay, let me adjust the affinities again, because that is so slow. I think I'd rather just have all my cores active. Bomberman, a.k.a. Wrath. One of the He's seven not... deadly sins. There he is. Now, if I can get him up here, if I can get him up here, I can get him to blow up this rock right here, which you can notice is a different shade from the other rocks, and that will have more soul hearts inside of it. So if I can get him up there... Right here, come on, throw a bomb. Damn it. The one on top of the... Yeah. This one up here. You can just throw a bomb up here and be a friend. Yeah, that's right. Or it could be the small rock, which would mean extra damage, or it could be more bombs. Which, more bombs wouldn't be that bad, because then I could look for the secret room. Oh, that might get it. Almost. Up here. Got it. Oh, it had to be a chest. Why did it have to be a chest? Is that what she said? Had to be her chest. Troll bomb, troll bomb! Not a friend. So this is literally Bomberman from the NES game. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, two so of what's hearts. in the chest? The two of hearts, which doubles your heart containers. But seeing as how you are the dead baby, that's pretty much useless. Because the dead baby doesn't have hearts, he has soul hearts, which are kind of like armor in that they do not refresh. You cannot pick up parts to replenish them. Yeah, yeah it does oh, absolutely nothing as you see. The Duke of That's Flies. Kind of yeah. This is, wasn't a good... Um, wasn't a good chest. Nope. That, my friends, is the Duke of Flies. <laughs> As you can see, he spits out flies. Oh my god. Alright, I got a question. I can't sprawl out on the floor like I was like a couple hours ago. <laughs> I got a question for the stream. Who was here last session, three months ago? What? Last I'm session? Yeah, like um, like three months ago that we were live streaming. Oh, the last days. marathon? Yeah, last marathon. Who was here last marathon? I recognize a couple of names. Definitely, definitely not White Orbison. <laughs> this guy looks like a huge glutton. He is. Glutton for flies. Although there is another character in this game named Gluttony, so... He doesn't oh, look yeah. anything like him. Uh, Teal, we did the... Um, a marathon, or... Like this, uh... Yeah. Does he, like, Back swallow the end of character April, like yeah. the boss in fucking, um... Uh, Super Mario RPG. Yeah. Super Mario. Oh, oh, which character? RPG. Oh, which boss? What? Um, the the swamp monster. Apparently, the next one is going. To or the be sewer in. monster, where he like would eat yeah. Mallow up. Mm -hmm. Apparently, the next one's going to be in uh, November. How oh, is it? We've already planned uh, another one. Yeah. Oh, I know we were in talks. Yeah, there's, there's definitely going to be another one. Well, I don't know if we had a set date or not. Another yeah, what? I'm, I'm, Another oh, charity marathon. Yeah. Right. Uh, it'll be around November, and I'm hopefully going to do. Ah, uh, Bellamy, yeah. 
you were saying Swamp, I didn't really recognize that place, but yeah, that's the place where you get Gino. Uh, no. I know that now. Gino in the forest. I'm talking about the Hero Sewers. Up alone is his name. Oh. I thought, um, I thought Bellamy was in the Gino area. Oh, yeah. No, he's in the sewers. Squeezy. I, I love Squeezy. I don't see why he wouldn't be in, in yes. the next one. But it's really up to him, to be honest. Who? Cool. If he wants to be in the next session. I'll be in it. I'll be in it. <laughs> I'll try to be in it. The McSqueezy increases your fire rate and gives you two soul hearts, which on the dead baby is essential. But now that my D6 has charged up again, I can use it on the mirror and hopefully get something useful. I am not willing to get the chocolate milk because that's going to mean I'm going to have to tap my finger every time to shoot instead of just holding it down. You know what? I need to go... Is that bad? Well, it can, essentially, faster fire rate if you tap it fast enough, but it's just that you have to tap no, the button every single time. Not. Is that chocolate milk? Yeah, the chocolate milk means that you have to press the button to fire. I can't do fire. No, milk. like, what was it that... You... I'd rather have my chocolate milk separate. It was, Is that I, what uh, the D6 got you? The yeah. chocolate milk? I rolled the magic, or I rolled the mirror into the chocolate milk. Hold on. Yeah, that's what I was asking. Oh, that kind of sucks. And like, I hope it's not the chocolate milk, chocolate milk. Yeah. Hey, I'll be... I'll be back in, like, 20 minutes. Give me a so. second. Alright, peace right. out, Mike. Stop, Mike. Mike. Hey! What's going on? Hey. What are your kitties doing? Yeah. Essentially, you can get faster and stronger shots, but it just requires you to press it over and over again, and that's just not worth it. For <laughs> me, at least. Not worth the hand cramps? No, not really. Aww. Did you die? Oh, no, I went to the next level. Dream. When you go down the... Cellar, or not cellar, the uh, trap, the trap oh, door. nightmare. You go to the next area. Oh, it's so sad. This is a really fucked up game. Yes, it is. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, B! You haven't seen the worst of it yet. Well, you're playing as a dead baby, that's pretty bad. I want to see I... if I can get anybody else in the street. Do I know what the Secret Heart does? Yeah, I've played this game for about 130 hours. I know essentially every single item. Wait until I get to Gertie, then you'll be freaked out. Gertie well, is one of the... Will within the next hour? Because I think I'm going to have to crash at 3. Well, the game's fairly random, so can't say for sure. Oh, okay. But Gertie is one of the weirdest... Oh, Spider Bite! Oh, I hate spiders, but I love the spider bite. No, I'm sorry, quad shot. I always get this too confused. That means I now have four tiers instead of just the one. Oh. But look how freaky he looks now. Yeah, he does look pretty freaky. Love it. Now would be the time that you would run. What does the Sacred Heart do? What does the Secret... What does the Sacred Heart do? It makes your shots bigger, and it's homing shots. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. Oh yeah, imagine doing that... Imagine having bigger tiers, or bigger shots, when you have four tiers coming out. Ooh, wow. With homing. Awesome item. That would be like the lock-on for the me... The lock-on upgrade for me or gun you never got. Essentially, yeah. Why is there blood everywhere? Because this is a freaky game. And Edmund, Mc... Edmund McMillan, the guy who created this game, is a very creepy guy. Is he? Yeah. He's cool, though. What other games have they made? Um, Time Fuck, <laughs> Super <laughs> Meat Boy... I'm googling this. <laughs> that sounds like an amazing game. You're not going to get a lot of good results. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, I'm, I'm uh, just gonna Google Super Meat Boy, then check the wiki, and then find uh, the developers. Yeah, he actually started off on Newgrounds, and that's where he originally made Meat Boy and a lot of these other oh, games. Yeah, so uh, are we talking about? I, 
someone are we talking about 4chan, uh, are we, are we talking about that was like, uh, uh, like, cool, rare things on the internet, and like games and stuff, and someone posted the original Super Meat Boy that was yeah. on Newgrounds. Yep. Are we talking about, uh, Edmund? Edmund McMillan, yeah. Yeah. Yes, I, I did oh, indeed just say Edmund. time fuck. <laughs> I love how that was the first thing you said. Oh yeah, he has a video about that. Told you. Got no keys, what? and I'm not willing to okay. go into that sacrifice room in order to find out what's in there. What are they like compared to Super Meat Boy? And I've Edmund? actually never played them. The only Edmund, the only Edmund games I've actually played were Super Meat Boy and Binding of Isaac. So what's in that room down there? I guess I'm fine. Yeah. These are the boss rooms. Monstro. They look like pieces of pudding. And they remind me of gun drop, gum drops. Eh, that could be that too. What the hell is that? I'm gonna need to see for when. What are you talking about? Are you talking about the enemies I'm fighting or Isaac himself? Or I'm sorry, the dead baby himself? Yeah, Maybe it's dead Isaac, who knows? Well, there's some debate on the storyline of this game. It's fairly open-ended. Is it? Ah, dog food! Do I really want to risk getting that or do I want to re-roll it? The extra dog health food? would be nice. Yeah, dog food is one health up. But I'm trying to think, do I want to re-roll that and get a chance of getting a better item? Because there's a devil room right here. When you go in the devil room, you have the ability to sell your life, your hearts, for other items. Alright, I'll get it. Well, is it one soul heart up, or is it one heart up? Oh, brimstone for three! Damn it. Damn it! Decisions. Alright, brimstone, that little symbol you see on the right side, is to some extent like the chocolate milk in that you can charge up your shots, but unlike the chocolate milk, it goes across the entire screen and is overpowered. So it's a great item, but for three hearts, that's going to put me down to half a soul heart. Will you still be able to... If you die, will you lose everything? Uh, yeah, that's the one thing about this game. When you die, everything's gone. You start all over. You know what? I'm going to risk it. Go for it. With half... A soul heart. We're gambling. Oh, hell yeah, we are. We're gambling here. I may get lucky. I may find some more soul hearts. We'll see. Yeah, unless you have the one-up mushroom or the dead cat. The dead cat gives you nine lives, so that means every the time you die... Cat. Yeah, the dead cat. Oh, gives you nine lives? That's great. Yeah. I've seen Salad Fingers before, yeah. Not really a fan of that. It's kind of... Really? Not my style. Well, it's just a laser beam. It is a laser beam. You, have you seen the, the cartoon uh, Salad Fingers? Yeah. I've never heard of that. Should look into that. Mm. Oh man, the charge is a lot slower than I thought it was. I did not take in consideration the quad shot. That's not gonna be good. It's taken me like three seconds to charge up my shot. I can tell. And I'm we're dead. 50 viewer, we're at 50 followers. You're dead? I'm dead, yeah. Gotta restart. Aww. And I'm back yeah, to the we're... poop. Yeah, we're at you 50 just died followers. On my... We're at 50 followers now. Oh, can you um, go back to the main menu and pick like a different... Oh, never mind. Well, I'm gonna at least give it two tries for the dead baby. That's what everyone voted for. You should play as the best character next. Well, I have the mulligan right now. That's close enough. The mulligan mm -hmm. is that every time I fire a shot, a fly comes out of my mouth, which will attack the enemies. So, the same as the uh, thing of flies. Yeah, essentially. I become the Duke of Flies. The Duke of Flies. The dead baby of flies. I, I like that little pun they did. See, now I have a fly. And it will attack the enemies for me. Oh, there it is. 
Jimmy get on my screen for a while. Oh my god, that it made it explode. I'm an adult. I need an adult. I need an adult. I need an adult. I'm an adult. Did you just get a key from a locked chest? It was a regular chest, not a locked one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, some people can find use out of the mom's pad, but I just don't really care for it that much. What's mom's pad? Mom's pad freezes the enemies for a, about three seconds or so. Seems like a pretty interesting game. It is. It's extremely random. There's about 198 items in the game. You pretty much will never have the same game twice. And for those wondering why I'm pooping, that is the item that the dead baby gets, and if you destroy the poop, you have a chance of getting coins. Or keys. Or keys. Or keys. You can you find in keys in your poop. And what I'm completely serious about that. Eat? Oh, right, yeah. Um, if I were to get Tech 2, that would be awesome. Do you need the Bomberman bombs? What about Bomberman? Do you need the Bomberman bombs to get to that chest that is in the middle of rocks? No, I can actually bomb the chest myself. Yeah, I know, like the same kind of bombs that he was using with. Eh, pretty much. So I'm sorry that that gamble didn't work out for you. Eh, it happens. You play this game enough, you're gonna get used to dying. You play any game enough, you're gonna get used to dying unless you have weak hands. Well, think Super Meat Boy. You are going to die. <laughs> I died about 50 or so times before I got my first mom kill. Mom kill? Yeah, that's the boss of the game, the first boss. These aren't bosses? No, these are bosses, but they're not um, end bosses. I guess you consider, can consider them end-of-level mini-bosses. Oh, okay. Because when you get far enough in the game, these guys do become mini bosses. They become regular enemies. Really? Yep. Wow. And sometimes you can see two or three of them in a single room. Which is not fun. So it looks like the game is speeding ah, up a little bit. Milk! Uh, in a game like and when you're playing the dead baby, you essentially you pretty much have to get every health up you can find, so yeah, you're gonna have to do this. This is a gauntlet room, or I don't know what they're really called, but I call them gauntlet rooms. And uh, they typically have items, and when you enter them, bosses spawn. And you have to go through two waves of bosses in order to escape. Oh, uh, really? Yep. This looks like the gumdrop guy, just without his twin brother. Yep. Mulligan really helps me out right here. Really? Yeah. I am losing my mind for tiredness. <laughs> Same here. You're not even talking. He's too he's entranced by the game. No, he he was not talking last like for a while before the game too. Yeah. <laughs> Someone has fish. I I can forget you lost my mind. Just because I'm so damn tired. Now when I get my fire rate up, I'll be able to get more flies on a regular basis. But right now I think it's like every three or four flies, something like that. So this is running slow. Very slow. Oh god. I, I can imagine it's easier to play in this slow motion. <sighs> Kinda. It's like playing in bullet time. Yeah. Like uh, Dead Eye in Red Dead Revolver slash Redemption. Yeah. If I want I kiss the boss. Because the bosses <laughs> have teeth. Why won't you kiss the boss? I would lose I my lips. I would lose my lips if I tried to kiss him. <laughs> I think you'd lose your head. I'd lose everything. <laughs> yeah, he did. 
Alright, after I finish up this room, I'm gonna see if I can put the cats back on the chair. Or at least one of them. Get the yeah. cat cam back. Didn't that guy say he was gonna be back? Who? Uh, what's his name again? Okay, is that a uh, guy ble bleeding tears? Or fine blood? Yep. Isn't it? Make said he'd be back. Hmm. What are the coins for? For buying things from the shop. There's a shop in this game. There's a shop in this game. In the middle of this perverted castle. Sure, why not? Makes sense to me. <gasps> oh my god. I just looked up and my cat was right oh. next to me. Okay, now this guy is what you would call a minion. He follows you around and shoots tears. I know, I love Demon, Demon Baby. He follows he you around and shoots tears. He will shoot tears at enemies for you. Now this is a shop which to the left of this room, but I only have four coins. The cheapest item is five coins. So unless I can find some more money, I don't want to waste the key to go into the shop. Alright, let's see if I can get my cat back. Let's see if I can... Oh, oh. No. Are your cats asleep? Hey, don't. There we go. Take the cat to the chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, she would hate me forever. I'm not gonna show my face. I no one wants to see it. Hope isn't very religious in that sense. Ah, oh, there's two more coins. Crouch and sniff would be smell blood. <laughs> well, actually, it could be many things. How many keys do you have now? I have two. You can see oh, my number of keys in the middle of the top. Top middle. Top middle? Yep. Oh, the top bottom. There's coins, which I have seven, zero bombs, and two keys. Oh, now I have three keys. He That's is shooting out red tears. Bloody tears. Yeah, I'm not a fan of greed. Greed sucks. And you go through the boss door, and it's greed. greed ah! and golden key. Greed and full metal alchemist was a prick. Now, what the golden key does is it gives you infinite keys for the current floor that you are on. Which means that if I go to the shop, it's not going to use up any of the keys that I currently have. Whoa! <laughs> There's this guy following you, and a fly. They are attracted to my poop. I forgot you still had the poop this time. Yep, got the poop. Nothing good in the shop. Well, didn't you say bombs were good? Bombs are good, but I think I'd rather save my coins for something more useful. Can you have more than five hearts, or is that the limit? Uh, you can have on a regular character... Sorry. Twelve regular hearts, which are red, and an infinite number of soul hearts. Soul hearts are the blue ones that you see. And since he's all soul, he doesn't have any red hearts? Exactly. So he can have infinite soul hearts, but no red hearts. That's sad. Yeah, well, that's what makes him a challenge. So what do the soul hearts do differently? Soul hearts cannot be replenished. If you have a red heart, then you can pick up those red hearts you see on the ground every so often to replenish them. The blue soul hearts cannot be replenished. Oh. That is very true, Seaman. There are also white eternal hearts, 
which when you get two of, turn into a red heart. Unless, of course, you're the dead baby, then they turn into a blue soul heart. Wait, eternal hearts? Eternal hearts are white hearts. They were new, they were introduced in the expansion pack for the DLC, Wrath of the So they, they can't be taken away until they become a red heart? No, they can be taken away very easily. They are essentially just half a heart, and when you get two of them, they turn into a regular heart. What's the point? To get more health. Mm -hmm. So they're like the Vitality and Kirby. Yeah, kind of. I must be driving you crazy right now. Nah, not really. I figured I'd be answering a lot of questions about this game because this isn't the type of game that I normally play on my channel or anywhere else, so it's kind of an oddball one. It's a different audience of a game. Yeah. We're still at 31 viewers at 2.26 in the morning. People love their Isaac, and the Twitch TV crowd is awesome. Yeah. Finding of Isaac is actually a staple here at Twitch TV. Is it? Yeah. And if it wasn't for the fact that Lethal Frag was streaming right now, I'm sure we would probably have a lot more. But Lethal Frag is the guy for Binding of Isaac. Is he? Yeah, for those of you who do not know, Lethal Frag is a guy who is currently on a two-year challenge for live streaming in that he live streams here on Twitch TV every single night for a minimum of two hours from midnight to 2 a.m. Although, on average, he gets about eight hours every single night. And he's been going for about seven months now, non-stop, without missing a Holy single night. Shit. Exactly. And he is doing that in Why order to... This? He's doing it in order to make a career out of it. Uh, yeah. So does that work? Like, how does he build that up? Oh, Four Forgotten Things changed their page. How does what work? Oh, well, look at it. How does he build all that up? Uh, I don't know what you mean. Build what up? Like the audience? audience? Just by being awesome, I'm guessing? And just being a great guy. He's very cool, calm, collected. He doesn't get overly stressed out. He played I Want to Be the Guy and did not rage once. Really? Really. He played the entire... I think he finished up the game last night, but he's playing the entire game, has not raged once. He played Super Meat Boy did not get angry once. He 100 percent of it. Bit Trip Runner. He plays all these different games, and he manages to stay cool. He has a he has the composure of a god and the beard of one too. But how does he get? How does he get an audience? Just by playing games. I mean, you think 130 hours of Binding of Isaac for me is impressive? This guy has over 800 hours clocked in. Does he not get bored, though? Recently, he kind of has. He's been kind of cutting back on Binding of Isaac. Oh, dead baby. No, Ghost Baby, I'm sorry. Ghost Baby will shoot, I think, two tears. Will we? He's another follower, like the demon. Oh no, he doesn't shoot two tears. I think he shoots spectral tears. Spectral tears go through enemies. Or they go through rocks, and they go through other obstacles. Yeah. Spectral. Alright, so the, for those of you wondering what exactly this meat cube does is following me around, it acts as a shield against projectiles. So every time it's in front of me, if a projectile is supposed to hit me, it will block it. If I collect two, it'll upgrade to the Virgin 2 meat cube, which spins faster and actually shoots out tears itself. If I get a and third... A super Meat Boy. If I get three meat cubes, that turns into a Super Meat Boy, who oh, isn't really I that great. It. I called it! Yep. He turns into Super Meat Boy, but isn't really that great. He no longer acts as a projectile shield and tends to kick around your bombs if you plant them. However, level 4 Meat Boy, which is the max level Meat Boy, will completely dominate any enemies. He will search and destroy them. You're not going to go for that chest? I'm going to hold off on it. Uh, right. Yeah, pretty much everything shoots tears. Tears or bombs. 
at least in this uh, little version of the game, I guess you thought. And the first few, uh, first few floors, yeah. For for the dead babies, I'm sure I'm good. I can't talk today. Are you talking about the enemies or myself? No, no, I'm talking about like every. Oh, you're talking about the enemy shoot shields. Oh, they First shoot. Tears. They shoot tears. They shoot blood. They shoot a lot of things. Oh, you're wondering. Run, you are wondering about this chest. I cannot access it right now because these are holes in the ground, and oh. I do not have a bomb. Bombs will allow you to place these rocks. If you push, if you put a bomb right here, that will allow you to blow up that rock and cover that hole, which would allow me to access that chest. But I currently can't do that. Uh -huh. So. Maybe you should have bought those bombs. Maybe. But that would have cost five coins, and that would have put me down to two. I'd rather save my coins. That's true. This guy doesn't seem to be getting hit. You can, oh, you can, you can only hit him from his brain on the back. And that oh, looks like a troll. Like the shield attacker enemies from Mega Man 5 and 6. Yeah, let's, uh, no links, guys. So. Through the power. There we go. Don't do that again, man. What? Someone posted a link in the chat that uh, wasn't a good link. Oh. So I just banned them. <laughs> White orb saying I can't link my butt wiki? No, you can like No picture. Your butt wiki is fine. That's fine. But uh, things I don't like that. Know what that guy linked. That was so bad that you had to ban him. Well, a lot of people were saying, "Ow, my ears!" That was stupid. Um, so he got a 10-minute timeout. So. Just don't post anything not safe, guys. And that is one issue, though. When you're playing a game like this, you kind of will attract trolls. Even if it is late at night. Alright, for those of you wondering about the pills that I just took that teleport to me, pills are kind of random items in the game that when you pick them up, there's about 20 or so different kinds. They will do... They will, now they will do a random... effect. They will either make your tears shoot faster or slower, they will give you more health, take away health, they will do different things to your tears, or they will simply teleport you to another room. How the teleport works is you have a 5% chance every time you teleport to go to an error room. And an error room is a place with a lot of different items and will automatically send you down to the next floor. Really? That pill was a health up, a very good pill. So now I'm at 6 health. how that is structurally possible. Oh yeah, or they will make you fart, that is true. <laughs> they will make you fart? There is a pill that will make you fart. Does that do anything in the context of the game? Um... No, bad gas... Well, bad gas will damage enemies, it'll poison them. <laughs> There's also another pill called the derp pills, or I found pills and ate them, which have absolutely no effect at all. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. So what's the point of eating them? Well, you don't know what the pills are until you eat them. Ah. Because as you see, when I pick them up, they are question marks. But when I pick them up in the future, they will have a description for on them. Here, they're like random potions. Except it makes you derpy, that is true. It will make you derpy. I'm tempted to actually go after that chest, because I have infinite keys for this floor. Uh, yeah, why not? Alright, let's see what's in it. Please be something good. Oh, I got another bomb. <laughs> that was completely useless. Well, I used a bomb, got a bomb, and a key, and about three coins. Ah, uh, yeah. Four coins, I think. Uh, Alright, I'll buy a... Uh, a pickaxe? No, the pickaxe sucks. That is the no, not... I'm... 
Yeah, the, I'm saying, like, what, there's a pickaxe now? The pickaxe is the notch axe, or notch pickaxe, I, like I kind of figured that was the Minecraft pickaxe. Yeah. And what it does is it allows you to break one rock per room. Not that great. Oh. Uh, yeah. I still have it just for the fact that it's the notch axe. Yeah. Well, it takes up your space bar. Uh, and, you can all, and you can only have one space bar. We don't really need poop, so... Yeah, and I'm not really even using the poop. Mm -hmm. so. They still, should go after that heart. <laughs> still, it's not worth 15 coins. Yeah, that's true. You didn't even have 15 coins. Nope. This is Gertie, the thing I was talking about about a minute ago. One of the most screwed up looking enemies in the entire game. Huh. <laughs> it looks like someone whose intestines were um, made 5,000 times bigger and strung across their body. Yeah, I think she's a liver or something. She? She is... Well, I would assume that Gertie is a girl's name, so... Yeah, Gertrude. Gertie is hot. <laughs> I would hate to get this thing hot. Imagine what it would smell like. Ooh. Leaving this thing out in the sun. Uh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I need to wash my mouth with chill. Now, a lot of people actually have trouble with Gertie. They find her to be one of the hardest bosses in the game. I don't see why, to be honest with you. She's not that bad. Yeah, Gertie Jr. is a pain, because... <laughs> Isaac Knoll said, Surgeon, oops. Gertie Jr. acts like a hockey puck. She will bounce around the room, and is not a good time. Oh, really? Yeah. I feel bad that I can't stay longer. It looks like your cousin. Everyone does have a super hard boss yeah. that they find really easy. Mine is Napalm Man from Mega Man 5. And everyone has an easy boss they find hard. Mine is Starman from, again, Mega Man 5. Mine was apparently the... Proto-Pet from last night. Yeah, Good I was Lord, about to, man. I was about to say, uh, wouldn't yours be the final boss from... Apparently, <laughs> the Proto-Pet from Going Commando was mine. Yeah. No, 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 no. Mini greed heads. I hate these freaking things. Hey, these my are my least favorite enemies in the entire game. Are they? Not only do they take a lot of health to... Or not only do they have a lot of health and a lot of hits to take down, every time they hit you, they take your money. Oh, what? Yeah, that's why you now see money on the floor, because they just stole some. I hate enemies that do that in video games. Not a friend. Not a friend. See, I don't mind the regular greed. I don't mind the super greed. It's the mini greeds that I cannot stand. And this is what I was talking about earlier about enemies spitting bombs. These green guys will spit out bombs at you. Yeah, the hanging greens aren't that bad either, although the hanging greens do have flies to protect them. Do you have unlimited keys still, or no? No, that was just for that one floor. Although I still have three, so... Definitely going in there. Alright. The golden ch These golden doors are the item rooms. Which will give you an item upon entering. Let's hope it's good. 20 uh, D20 like D6 will transform any item you find into something else. However, it does not transform items into other items. It only transforms things like keys, bombs, chests, stuff like that. Oh. So if I find another greed and I let the greed take all my money, then that means there's going to be a lot of coins on the ground. Coins that I can transform into other things. Oh, that's clever. Or, let's say I find a casino. 
I can gamble there, get coins on the floor, get all sorts of things, and transform those into something different. There's casinos in this game? Yes, there is. Because why not? In the middle of this perverted house, once again. Yeah, there's also bookstores. <laughs> Where does this game take place? It takes in place hell. in uh, Isaac's basement. That's one big ass basement. Yes, yeah, it is. Yeah. It's oh, you haven't seen floor. it's it's a penthouse basement. Yeah, it is. You haven't seen nothing yet. Oh God, troll bomb! Oh, thank you. Troll bomb! Yeah, those things will follow you. Troll bomb. Yeah, they also yeah, are not friends. Yeah, had a troll face on it, didn't it? Yeah. And if you get hit by it, it will say in the bottom right hand corner, troll -lo -lo -lo. Really? Yeah. Like I said, the creator of this game, Edmund McMillan, is a sick fuck. He's cool, but he's sick. Sick as in awesome, or sick as in twisted? Sick as in twisted. And awesome. He's a little of both. Well then, he's okay in my book. Mine too. He makes awesome games and doesn't charge a lot for them. This game is five dollars. Five dollars. Is it eight or four? Well, eight dollars. It's five dollars for the game, and then three dollars for the expansion pack. The expansion pack pretty much doubles the content of the game. Oh, feels a scam. No, no, never mind. I can't count. That is absolutely correct, C man. However, it does not turn items into other things, such as space bar items and whatnot. Hey, treasure chests. It will turn them into treasure chests, though, and treasure chests can hold items, but it, does, it cannot turn out of actual items into... You should have used that. it right there because there are three coins and a key on the ground. I'd rather save it because it takes about six rooms to recharge the D20. Uh. Can you not go like back and forth between the room? Nope, you gotta clear a room. Oh, okay. So how's everybody? <laughs> doing I'm doing fine. Too. Oh, greed! That, no. Alright, so... No, I'm not gonna do it. I was gonna say I could get myself purposely hit so I would drop all my coins. And then I could re-roll all of that into something different, but on the dead baby, that's not a good decision because you have limited health. Yeah. So, I probably shouldn't do that. But if it just so happens to happen, then... Then yeah. But I'm not going to purposely get hit. So how many viewers are we at right now? Uh, 30. Oh! <gasps> A candle! It always have to be 15 coins. What's candle do? Candle is the best spacebar item you can get, almost. What does it do? I'm gonna hold off on telling you, depending on whether or not I can afford it later, after this floor is over. Alright. How many coins did you say was in this room? Hold on. There's one coin right here. Oh. No, yeah, you are right. The nail is better, but I love the candle. You cannot go wrong with getting it. The only problem is that in, if I get the candle, I'm going to be giving up my space bar D20. I like the D20 Zelda is a great item. System here. You like the Just what? Notice that in the corner. Yeah. The Zelda esque map system. Yep, and then you do have a chance of getting a dark floor, which pretty much gets rid of the map. Which sucks. Why would they put that in the game? For added difficulty. <laughs> okay, so the two of spades doubles your keys. Nice. I didn't think it was that funny. I need five coins. <laughs> I didn't think it was that funny. I need five coins. Yes, this all takes place in Isaac's basement. Oh, Lust, you clingy bitch. Clingy bitch? What? Wait a minute, what? 
Yeah, Lust. She comes after you. All she wants is a hug. No, oh, she just wants a hug. Person, like Gippy. Um, all I'm thinking of right now is Full Metal Alchemist. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah. That's hormones. The, no, that's a virus. That means now every time the enemies touch me, they will be poisoned. Nice. But you I'll... don't want them to touch you, right? No, because that also means health down. I get hit, I lose health. Mm. I listen to the Gorillas. I love the Gorillas. Well, I love the early Gorillas. I haven't really listened to much of their albums in the past few years. In a bag. I got I got linked to one video, or no, I saw one of their videos in a suggested video because it was called Clint Eastwood. Ah, uh, great one. Was, I love that one. So it was an actual song with Clint Eastwood in it. <laughs> because. I was listening to a song that had Clint Eastwood featured in it, so... Okay, now take a random guess. What do you think these enemies' names are called? Bubbas? No. Love. Think the human centipede. Balls? Yep. Butt lickers. <laughs> that is their legit name. They look like their ass cheeks. They look like their teeth. They are named Smelling after, faces. or they are modeled after the human centipede. So basically, they're if they look like tits with faces, them they look like motorboats. Yeah. All right. Well, I have 11 coins. That means I'm not going to be able to afford the candle, sadly. Damn. Do, 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 do. You can find batteries in the nuts. Nun in a nuts hat? hat, yeah. The nuns hat is called the habit, and the habit is that every time you get hit, your spacebar item gets half a charge. Oh. So instead of having to wait six rooms for the D20 to uh, be ready to be used again, it would only be two hits. So you get hit twice, and the D20 is fully ready to be used again. Sorry, oh, I was going to say you can go for that chest to get some more coins. But... No, Sally, that chest is stuck between two holes. Uh. Yeah, if I get the pageant boy, that would be great, because the pageant boy gives you about five coins. Um, I was going to say something, but I forget what it was. Uh, this is Pestilence. Pestilence is another horseman, and he will give me another meat cube after I beat him. Really? Yep. I love how I, I keep saying, really? Really? <laughs> really? Like, no, I'm lying. I am lying. He isn't Pestilence. He is Super Pestilence, because he's actually a variant of the Pestilence. Oh, is he? Because as you can ah, see... I did it again! He's kind of a faded color, that means he is a, a variant. Which means those spiders that he is spawning is not normal. That's interesting. Yep. You sounded so bored when you said that's interesting. I'm tired <laughs> as hell. Mm -hmm. Then wake the frick up. hey -o. Actually, there's more than four horsemen. There's war, there's pestilence, there's... Oh, I don't know the others. But there's about five or six in this game. And you are now about to see Meat Boy level two. Now he's got a head. <laughs> oh! Oh. Damn it. Okay. So now we are at the chance of do I want to take another gamble? That is Mom's oh. knife. Oh! <gasps> A nickel! That is why it is always worth it to put out fires, because you have a chance of getting money out of them. Now I have 16 coins, now I'm going to go back and I'm going to buy the candle. What does uh, the candle do? The, well, I'll show you when I get it. All right. The luck foot is a great item. The because you, so you would still have uh, two and a half hearts left this time. Yeah. Both of these are great items. The luck foot makes all pills good, meaning that I will no longer get health down, I'll no longer get uh, speed down, tear rate down, whatever else, and the knife is an extremely powerful weapon, however, it is very short range. It doesn't go that far. 
it's an item that you really have to get used to when you use it. <laughs> Someone says stab the foot. Ah. Stab the foot. I'll, I'll stab mom's foot. You know what? I'm. Stab no. my foot. You know what? Oh, I'm trying to decide. Because if I buy the candle, that will be my primary weapon in this game. Which means I won't really have a use to get the knife. Yeah, a lot of people were saying the luck foot. The luck foot is a great item. Eat the foot. <laughs> Ew. I'm... Uh, also, if you find a casino, then every time you use the casino, you have a better chance of uh, winning. Foot the foot? What does foot that foot. mean, White Orbison? Yeah, I think I'm going to get the, the lucky foot, mostly because since I'm getting the candle, uh, it's more practical. Can you go back and get the candle? Yeah, I can go back and get, go back to the shop now and I can get the candle. All right. Bye, Sora. I assume I you're going to bed, so good night. Good night. I have the most messed up picture on my phone. I don't want to know what it is. <laughs> it's a Batman parody joke. Oh, uh, it's like an Aurora shooting Batman parody joke? Actually, no, it's a nicer version. So I guess it's not the most messed up thing. Alright, so for those of you wondering how exactly the D20 works, since that's a chest right there, I'm going to use the D20, and it's going to turn into another great chest. So that was completely useless. <laughs> <laughs> That was oh, a great man. use of the D20. Okay, so Seaman wants me to talk about the fetus in a jar. Don't I'll the fetus in a jar is actually a very overpowered weapon or item. Um, when you get it, you're essentially given infinite bombs, pretty much. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And you pretty much kick the bombs at all your enemies. So did that troll bomb uh, take away your the the rock that you could have used to get to that treasure chest? <laughs> was there a troll bomb in that room? There was a troll bomb in that room. Yes. Yeah, then probably. All right. So this is the space bar, uh, or this is the candle. You can now spit out flames. And the great thing about the candle is that its recharge is very fast. You don't have to clear rooms in order for it to be back to normal and ready to be used again. Reminds me of the candle from Zelda. Can you burn bushes in this game? No, there's no bushes. Damn it! <sighs> this is not Zelda, then. I'm depressed. I could have stuck the knife in the foot and took them both. I wish. So what's the difference between the doctor's fetus and the epic fetus? The doctor's fetus is pretty much bombs. The epic fetus is nukes. You rain them down from above. Got oh, ya. Yeah. Ah, and this is what I was talking about earlier about having the curse of darkness. Now that mini map that was in the top left corner is gone. Oh really? Oh, yes, yeah, secret room. Secret room. Alright, so when you enter a secret room, you have a chance of getting an item or, of course, greed. Crossing my fingers for no greed. Mm -hmm. Saving, I, just I get greed. I You're gonna have to actually start talking. Not saying uh, it was what? greed, but greed. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, thank you. It's always greed. It's, it's literally always greed in that no. room? No, but you have about a 90% chance, pretty much. Oh, really? Well, not really, but... It but seems like it. Power? It seems right. like it's a 90% chance. Steam sale. That means that now, every time I go to the shop, items are 50% off. Is that a joke about Steve's crazy sales? Yes, it is. Whoa, what was that? What's <laughs> um, these are blood belching vaginas. <laughs> oh, what? What's what this game rated as? L. 
It's right at Infirmature. Wait, is that him? Yeah. They're so cute. <laughs> Your cat is in the right hand, in our top right corner, like I am so offended. I know she is. Haha. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that. By but way, I did I'm it, playing... and it's too late now. Uh, conscious, I'm playing uh, Assassin's Creed. Cool. Hey, what did you do that you don't understand? Um, I entered this room and I actually opened the great chest and there was nothing in the great chest that I could take. And the problem with that is that this is a gauntlet room, which means I now have to go through three waves of enemies. Nah, uh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Hope you don't die. Yeah, I know. And I only have one and a half hearts, too. That's why I said hope you don't die. Well, I have the candle, and the candle is a very overpowered weapon, so... Wow, it just sweeped all those enemies. Is it over 9,000? Oh, yep. Shut okay. sure. up. It's roughly 9,025. Get, get me hit by a car, please. I already have once. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, the, the uh, blood belching vaginas in the previous floor were called, or the previous room were the Viz. I... it doesn't really matter what you call them, though. That's essentially what they are. Is somebody watching TV in their background? Oh, yeah, I can do that then. I was just... Been... My constant. That should be okay, right? Sunshine and lollipops. What? Someone's watching. Someone's listening to that song right now. I don't know if that song is. Well, it goes or great with this game. Oh, shit. That was it. Can't you tell? Hello. I would like to, at the very least, get to the depths on this. Did, according to the thing, you're already in the depths one. I think it said. No, I don't think... Wait, is Necropolis Depths? Actually, yeah, it is. Holy crap, I made it this far already. <laughs> well, what that Can means is that... Is that a swastika? What the... What that means is that after I beat the next floor, I'll be facing Mom. The swastika means that you're facing Mom? Oh, no, no. Since I am in the Depths right now, if I beat oh. this floor and the next one following, I'll be at Mom. Dude, you're gonna die. Yeah, I know I am. Unless I can find something great in this item room right here. The hell are you supposed to do here? Spelunker's hat! This means I now have access to all of the secret rooms. I no longer have to guess and hope and press my luck, hoping I can find it. I better dodge better. Yeah. How are you supposed to get to that slot machine thing? Well, I only have one coin, so I'm not going to risk it, but you can go in between the or the uh, pointy things. Oh my God. Don't kill me! Those guys are the ones that killed you last time, too. Yeah, they actually are. The cards that I find are called tarot cards. And there's two different types of tarot cards. There are the cards that um, will either double what you have, double your hearts, double your money, double your coin, or double your uh, bombs, double your keys. And then there's a different type of tarot card that will... There's about 20 different types of the other one, and they just have random effects like show the entire floor of the map, show where the secret room is, show certain things on the map. Uh, they will fully heal you, they'll teleport you somewhere, stuff like that. Not the wretched! Why'd I have to be the wretched? I hate the wretched! <laughs> no! No! Kill it! Kill it with fire! I have is fire! Is in this game based off of oh, human you anatomy? Kill it! Kill it with fire! <laughs> 
<laughs> no! I hate the wretched because of how freaky it looks. Oh, I thought it was because it was hard. Well, it's a spider! That's enough reason to hate oh. it. Sorry. I nearly shat my pants the first time I saw it. I'm sorry for laughing. I'm used I'm to not. people laughing at my. <laughs> I'm used to people laughing at my pain. Man, that's why I played Action 52. Well. See, we're now down to 28 viewers. Two people left because of that damn spider. What a bitch. Why you no kiss wretched? Because wretched would eat my face off. Alright, well, since I have the Spelunker helmet, I'm actually gonna look for the other secret room. We found one, we might find the other. Yeah, the Joker tarot card will teleport you straight to the Devil Room, where you can uh, make a deal with the Devil. <laughs> two of clubs, two of spades, oh, two of hearts, and two of diamonds will double what you have. And the High Priestess card will smash down on all the enemies like a big foot. You have no hearts to trade for now. <laughs> Wow. That Oh fight. you yeah, you know what White Orbison is White Orbison is right. I've got the Speedlocker helmet and the X-ray goggles confused. What is that? So what did the what does the Spelunker helmet do? Uh, it shows it on the map where the secret rooms are, but since I do not have access to the map right now, it's kinda of pointless. <laughs> Well, you know what, that, that's not a big deal, because by coming down here, I accidentally found the other secret room. Did you? Yes, I did. That's fine by me. Is that a slot machine thing? That's a slot machine. Death. Now, do I want to use the telepills right now, or do I want to keep death? Death will pretty much instant kill everything on screen except for bosses. I hate items like that. Kill everything except bosses. So just kill the boss too. <laughs> yeah, free bomb. The gravity yeah. bomb. Yeah, bomb. I think it's probably best to keep. I'm making the pill. a lot of Mega Man Five references today. And I'm Yippee! not gonna. I'm not gonna use the pill. I'm gonna save it for the next floor. You're gonna need pills in the next floor. No, I'm gonna save the telepill for the next floor. There's no point of using it right now. Because if I use it right now, then what's the point? Where's it going to take me? I've already been to the item room. I've already been to the two secret rooms. There's nothing beneficial for doing it. If I use it on the next floor, I can probably find the item room, the secret room, or whatever else. So that is a swastika. That was a swastika, yeah. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah, let's get our Nazism in here. Yeah, the, uh... The machine I was just using and ended up blowing Sora, up. Sora, Sora, you son of a bitch. The item, the uh, machine I was just using and ended up blowing up. Now that I have the lucky foot, will give me an item every single time what instead of a chance. Doesn't even make sense. Mega Man is not a game. What do you mean? Hmm. <laughs> All right, so now I'll use the telepills. Oh, okay. We cool. We cool. We cool. We cool. We cool. I bet you go way back. Gank sign. Oh, that's right. The fire does not go through rocks. Forgot about that. All right. So, <laughs> so Seaman now wants me to talk about trinkets. Trinkets are like passive abilities when you collect them. Justice. Wait, justice is. One of each item, I think. See, I don't remember all of the the uh, tarot cards. I don't remember them all by heart. So 
So I'm trying to remember, Ooh. is Justice, uh... I might as well just use it. Yeah, yeah it is one of each item, that's what I thought. Pick up the heart? I can't pick up the heart. That is a red heart. I can only collect blue soul hearts as the dead baby. Maybe you should have picked a different character, I guess. Well, people voted for this one, so... Fuck them. Ah. I'm kidding, you guys are awesome. He doesn't care to pick it up anyways. Hey man, if I could pick up Red Hearts as the dead baby, that would be awesome. Is dead baby hard, dead baby hard mode or something? Eh, or kinda. Uh, it's not the hardest mode. The hardest mode would be Eve. <laughs> Is that why everyone was voting for Eve at first? Yep, because she does no damage. Dead baby- <laughs> What? Yeah, uh, I'll show you what I mean in a second. Okay. Dead baby has two damage. He starts off with two damage, so that is his base stats. The more items I pick up, I have chances of increasing my damage, fire rate, etc., etc. He starts yeah. off with two damage. Eve starts off with one damage and is extremely slow. So you see how fast Dead Baby is moving. She moves about half that speed. Ugh. Her only benefit is that Why when she gets... I have Luck Foot? Well, I got Luck Foot now. I picked it up, but... Yeah. We're talking about starting bases. Um... The only benefit that Eve has is that when she is down to half a heart, she doubles her power. So you pretty much have to lose Normal. all your health in order to get damage. That sucks. Yes, it does. I'm not a fan of items that require you to get hit in order to be stronger. This is for the PC. It's on Steam. It's $5 for the game and $3 for the expansion pack. Well... Kind of doubles. It increases your damage by about 1.5. Yeah, Kane always has the left foot. That is his starting item. Who's that? Kane is another one of the characters. No, the person yelling in the background. Oh. I hear Kane now. I think of this Kane Dane and one of friends on YouTube. Hmm. Kane's a pretty or, good character. He's kind of, I wouldn't say that Kane is easy mode, but he is a lot better. <laughs> He's a good starting character. Do you get all eight of them at the beginning? Nope, you gotta unlock them. You only start with Isaac. Uh, I was about to say, like, that if he's a good starting character, then that kind of sucks. Nah. In order to unlock Kane, I believe you have to get 30 coins in a single run. Maybe 40, something like that. And you have to maintain those 40 coins. 55, there you go. I knew it was some amount. Uh, <laughs> yes, it was some amount. You're, well, you're right. Each character unlocks it with certain, with uh, different requirements. Like, Samson unlocks when you skip two item rooms. That's what I hate in video games, where you have to wean yourself off of something you want, like in Temple Run, where you have to get the achievements for not collecting a coin for 500, 1,000 meters. Yeah. <laughs> Piss me off. What? Yeah, my personal favorite character in this game is Judas, mostly because he has a lot of damage. He starts off with one health, but he has a lot of damage. <laughs> but he has a lot of damage. I think his starting base is four damage. Really? Yep. Samson is good now. Samson had, with the uh, previous versions of this game, before they updated it, Samson really sucked. Yeah. yeah. What, what were the changes? Well, in order for Samson to get stronger, he has to kill more enemies. But they maxed out how strong you could get. Like, for example... Oh, God. After you kill about five enemies... Move! Oh, my God! After you kill about five enemies, you were maxed out for how much damage you could be buffed up to. But they recently changed that where it's a little bit more. So, that was one thing. They also gave him another thing of health. He started off with just one. Like Judas, but they gave him a soul heart. Judas Priest? Yeah. Well, He's not Judas Priest. Judas from the time. Bible. Judas from the Bible. Oh. The one whose hair was cut. The man with immeasurable strength. I've never read the Bible. Neither have I, but still know a few things about it. 
So all everyone's uh, from the Bible? Pretty much, yeah. And who the fuck is a dead baby? Essentially, he's Isaac. Or... So my prediction was right. Or, another theory is that he is Isaac's brother or sister. Did not mean to go in here. Ah, coin purse! <gasps> this is a great item. Mom's coin purse gives me four pills. I currently have the lucky foot, which means all pills are good. Oh ho ho! Luck up! That's three luck up. Not really the best buff, but still a great one. And a health up pill. Yes. Nice. Worth going in here. Purse, ew. Shut up, people. Not that type of coin purse. I found pills and ate them. I, put, I picked things up and put them down. I don't even know what they were. I just put them in my mouth and ate them. <laughs> I put things up. I picked things up and put them in my mouth. That is correct, Seaman. Until you... Beat the devil, I think it is. You do not have any... <gasps> Maggie's Faith! If I can remember what Maggie's Faith does. Um, this is a trinket. Trinkets are passive abilities. I cannot recall what Maggie's Faith does off the top of my head. Mm. This is Mom. The first, quote-unquote, final boss of the game. The first final boss? <clears throat> Ah, oh, Red Mom. Fantastic. This is what we call a variant boss fight. Um, Normally, I'm not able to see it. Yeah. Red Mom stomps her foot a lot faster than she would normally. God damn it! Sorry, we're currently offline. Go fuck yourself, bitch. To some extent, Mom's red foot is a lot easier than her normal variant because you can just move back and forth. There we go, I can see it now. Oh, is that the foot from the dream? Yep. That's mom. Gotta kill mom. Make it bleed. So oh, that, that is I right. I creator of this game to put out a full storyline of the entire game. I would love that too. But that is right. What Maggie's Faith does is that at the beginning of each floor you get to, you get half of an eternal heart, or you get one eternal heart. Oh, okay. Yes, Polaroid! We got the Polaroid. The best item you can get on the dead baby. And I'll show you why in a second. Boo, Magician sucks. Magician is homing shots for one room. Alright, so the Polaroid, every time you get hit, when you have less than half a heart, you get about three seconds of invincibility. However, since you are the dead baby, you are currently, at all times, at zero hearts. Which means that now, every time I get hit, I will have three seconds of invulnerability. Wait, how does that work? The Polaroid works that every time you have half a heart and you get hit, you get three seconds of invulnerability. Since the dead baby is always at zero hearts, he technically oh. falls under that category, so now every time he gets hit, he gets invincibility frame, or he gets invincibility for about three seconds. It might not be three oh, seconds, it might be just two. Either way, it is very nice to have. And there you go right there, there's the invincibility. Now if you can take the Polaroid to the very end of the game, you gain access to the treasure room. And the treasure room is one of the new final, final areas of the game. Actually, final, final, final. There's three finals in that. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is the final area of the game where you can... Bob's rotten head, not worth it. 
Mm -hmm. No, I'm different. Good. All right, Bob's Rotten Head. What this does is it acts as a bomb that will poison the enemies. But I prefer the candle. I forgot what I was saying about a second ago. Uh, okay. uh, the uh, I don't want to go back to the secret room. Damn you, game. Um, taking the Polaroid to the final boss game gives you access to the chest. And the chest is the final fl uh, floor of the game, I guess you could say. But it's not really that easy to get to because you have to have the Polaroid. And before patch 1.337, it was kind of random. I have to call this up. Yep, the cathedral. You have to take the Polaroid to the cathedral. And fight Jesus. I was waiting for you to reply to that. I'm sorry, I'm out of it. <laughs> did you say fight Jesus? Yes, I did. I need to find a let's play of this game. Well, here's one right here. Oh, I might I'm be able to make it to the crashing. final boss. Oh god, I, it's way past 3 o'clock. I'll just crash at 3.30 then. Oh, yes. If it wasn't for the fact that this game is chugging along, being very slow, I probably would have been done by now. Or dead. No, I'd probably be done. Have you beaten the game? I've beaten it over 130 times. Oh. Wow. Yep. <laughs> now, I'm not going to tell who the actual final, final, final boss is. So we'll it's not this. Jesus. Yeah, it's not Jesus. Damn it. Oh, You'll Jesus, have to see man. for yourself. I will when I go and watch this back tomorrow. Yeah, this game has immense replayability. You will never have the same game twice. Because there are so many different items. Are the rooms randomized too? Yes, they are. As well as the enemies. Cool. And the bosses for that matter. Yep. Even though. So, as, as far as dice, is there only D6s and D20s? Yeah. That's a weird two to have. Not really. Nah, that's true. Ah, <laughs> oh, the beggar. Too bad I only have two coins. The beggar? The beggar will take your money and give you items in return at a chance. He doesn't always do it, so you can easily give up all of your money and attempt to get an item only to get nothing. Like that? Yep, just like that. I wasted both of my coins on that guy. What a jerk. What a douche. Well, I could kill him, but I'm going to see if I can find some more money on this floor. That way I can come uh, back to him. Oh, damn it. Oh, there's a key, but I got enough keys Wyatt for Robinson now. Robson is going to be right back. This is a new record. He still hasn't gone to bed. This and dude's insane. He is. I mean, I think he was at 52 hours about four hours ago, so <laughs> he's, I think he's sitting at 56 right now. So you're in the womb right now. I'm in the womb. Why mom has bugs and all this in her womb, I do not know. I, I just would rather not Seems ask. It's very unsanitary. Yeah, seems like it. Never go wrong with more bombs. Yeah, sure, go ahead, never go Seaman. wrong with, uh, yeah. You never go wrong with explosions in general in, in video games. Unless they're so big they blow you up as well. 
No, I think they're so fun. Even if, uh... nah, I don't know. I don't like being blown up. Mm. Well, it's here. I don't know what. My opinion? I guess. I'm not sure. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been awake? Uh, since 10 in the morning. I'm not used. To, I haven't really have been having anything to sustain energy. I had a salad for dinner. Yeah, I'm kind of the same way. When I'm streaming, I don't eat at all. Yeah. Not really the best diet plan, but that's it, how you go. Are you blowing up? You blew up the slot machine and it gave you a heart. Well, I don't have any money, so I can actually use it. Oh, uh, yeah, but it, would it give you the same thing it would give you if you used it? Actually, it would have given me trinkets, which I don't want to take because I currently have the Polaroid, and there's no trinket that I would want to replace that. Or it could give me soul hearts, which would be very beneficial. But seeing as how I don't have any money, I just blow it up. Dumb blown up. How the F did I get back into Mom's womb? I went through the cellar, into the caves through the depths, and back up in there. Mm -hmm. Isn't that how you're supposed to get back into the womb? I, I never tried, so... Is this literally taking place in the basement? basement? Like, is that, was that a joke, or...? That's the story. <laughs> Mom was trying to kill him, so he hopped into the basement. And once you reach the room, the room, the womb, enemies no longer do half a thing of damage to you. They do a full heart of damage, so you really want to avoid being hit as much as possible. Hey, More so, so than the previous floors. Yeah. Previous floors, you can kind of take risks. They're only doing half a thing of damage to you. Once you get here, you can easily die in about two hits. Or not really. Well, right now I could die in about three. If you get... Uh, what item is that? There is an item, though, in the game that will half all the damage you take, though. Which is very nice. Yeah, Ipecac plus Broken Mirror is not a good time. What's an Ipecac? Ipecac is pretty much... Yeah, Doctor's Remote not worth that. Ipecac will make you vomit. And pretty much is bombs, but... If you have the mirror, that means bombs will be coming back at you. <laughs> yeah, the wafer, that's the name of it. Thank you. Ha. Oh. Yeah. yeah, see, that's another thing I kind of get confused. The doctor's remote and the teleport thing, because they, they're both remote controls. Just one has a different appearance, or one has a different color than the other one. Seems like you mix up a lot of them. Well, there's 198 items, so... And it's true. It's like someone's gonna correct you, 197, thank you. Yeah. Well, there's so only fun. a handful of items I get confused on. The Mutant Spider, and the Spider Bite, the Doctor's Remote, and the Teleport, and... I think that's about it. I and the hat. Oh, yeah, the Spelunker hat and the X-ray goggles. And then, I guess, the uh, syringes as well. Because there's a red syringe that gives you poison touch, there's a green syringe that increases your damage. No, I don't know. There's about three different syringes. And you, and while listing them, you're getting confused. Exactly. Here's an enemy you might find familiar. Hurricane. Oh, isn't this the guy that uh, you said there was a variation of? Well, there's a variation of every single boss in this game. Or no, that you were facing a variation of. 
I don't think I've faced a ver uh, version of this guy yet on the stream. Um, no. I but isn't so. he like an enemy in uh, Breakout? Not not Breakout. In uh, Breakdown. There's some game I've seen him in. What game? What seen who in? The enemy, the boss right there. Where every time you kill him, he splits in half. Oh, that's. A, there's enemies like that in a lot of games. Yeah, I'm trying to think of one specifically though. Oh. Yeah, Speedball is white. Roid Rage, I think, is green, and then the Poisonous Touch is red. Hey, we're almost at the uh, the secondary final boss. And I gotta go. Uh, Alright, I'm going to go to bed because I'm all crazy now. Alright, I have okay. no brain power left. And I'll <laughs> see you guys later. Probably tomorrow. Alright, later. Alright, peace. So who is currently in Skype, or is Skype even running right now anymore? I've got, I can't look away to look. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I think Skype is done for the night, which means for the next hour and a half, it's just me and the chat. Get these damn ziglets away from me. Diggly dig, diggly dig, diggly dig. Well, if no one else is on Skype, I think I might just close out Skype, hoping that maybe that'll speed up the game a little bit. We'll see. All right. Yeah, I think that was it. So I'm going to shut down Skype for now. See if that helps my frame rate. Not really. Oh, God, double Mega Man's. Double Mega Man's. <gasps> I have 17 coins. There's a casino right there. If I can reach that, then uh, that's going to be a good time with Lucky Foot. Have I gone to the secret room yet? I don't think I have, because I see it right there. Yes, that is what it is. It's Bomberman. Wrath is Bomberman. There is no denying that. Uh, you know, I'm not really into sports, so I can't really talk about Charles, Bar Charles Barkley. Oh no, everyone's leaving. It's getting too late for everyone, I think. It is 3.30. Yeah, isn't Charles Barkley, like, the basketball player? Or am I mistaking him to someone else? Um, you know, I've never seen an alternate form of Mom's Heart, so I can't really say for sure. I've only seen the normal version. That was so hard. I love the lucky foot. So many tarot cards. No, oh my god, I just thought of... Please let there not be a tick in here. The tick will pretty much make it so you cannot pick up other trinkets. And nothing wrong with gambling. Yeah, the tick does suck. Especially when you have the Polaroid on the dead baby. You don't want the tick. 
I mean, the tick is kind of nice in that it reduces the enemy's, the boss's health by about 15 or 20 percent, but when you already have the Polaroid, you just don't want it. Hey, I got Skatole! Now no flies will touch me. And yes, I do indeed have poop on my head. The greatest attribute-mon? I don't know what the, the word is, I can't pronounce it. The greatest accessor accessory, a poop hat. No, it's not a brain. It's poop. Because why not in this game? Uh, there is a mom's... trinket bag. I, I can't remember what it's called, but there's a trinket item that you can get that will allow you to carry two trinkets instead of just one. It's called mom's... Mom's bag. I, mean, I honestly can't remember what it's called. I just know what it does. Oh, the thing on the ground. Yeah, that was a brain. These are brains. Whose brains? I don't know. Maybe the brains of the gamers who've played this game and lost theirs. You know, I could actually try and risk it and spend my 17 coins trying to gamble with this guy. I think I will. Alright, let's see if he has anything good for us. Maybe more health. Oh, is it called Mom's Purse? The devil. The devil, you say. Wait a minute. This is a good thing. The Bible will instant kill mom. But however, it is a spacebar item. I can use this. Kill mom's heart. Come back, pick up the candle, and then leave. No, is this Book of Revs? Oh, crap, yeah. Whoops, my bad. Yet again, I'm getting confused. Oh, damn. The Book of Revelations is a great item for the dead baby. Because that is a guaranteed one soul heart every three rooms. And for the dead baby who doesn't come by soul hearts all that often... Um... It's a beneficial item. However, the candle will allow me to do damage, which I kind of lack right now. I'm still sitting at two damage. That's not a lot. So I think I'm going to leave the Book of Revs behind and keep the, uh, the candle. It's a risky decision, but considering I have two damage right now, it's probably the best decision I can make right now. Yeah, the candle will burn the babies. Those screaming banshees, whatever they're called. Yeah, I do I do agree that the candle is better than the book when you only have two damage. This is variant peep. How he differs from regular peep, I don't know. He doesn't really seem all that different to me yet. Yeah, it is a little bit late for Book of Revs. Although, I, 
to some extent, I don't really like picking up Book of Revs all the time because that means that you're going to have a higher chance of getting the Horseman, which means that you're not going to get regular items, you're going to be getting the cubes of meat. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna come with me, boy. Hold on. I think the chat is froze, so let me click that in a second. There we go. Actually, I kinda like Meat Boy level 4. Meat Boy level 3, however, is kinda crappy. It does cost you four boss rooms, but the amount of damage that Meat Boy Level 4 puts out is well worth it. Well, it's worth it to me. Especially if you have flight. If you have flight, you can just sit back in a corner and let Meat Boy do his work. Time for the boss fight against Mom's heart. There's two named form to Mom's heart. Yeah, when you first fight Mom's heart, it is called Mom's heart, and then after I think ten kills, it turns into I, it, it, it turns into it lives. Everything's a baby because Isaac's kind of a baby. And actually, that's not really Mom's heart any longer. It is now Isaac in her womb. It is a dead fetus. Yeah, it's a fetus. I told you this game was really messed up. In my opinion, uh, based on the story, I think it's the aborted fetus of the dead baby. Could be wrong, but that's just my assumption on the story. I think you get Dead Baby after killing Mom's Heart ten times. Alright, so everyone- no, I'm not even going to leave that up to them. I was going to say, do people want me to go down to Hell to fight Satan, or up to the Cathedral to fight the third final boss? But we're actually going to go to the Cathedral, because we have the Polaroid. We might make it to the chest tonight. Ah, one up. And this is what I was talking about earlier, in that... If you die with the 1-up, you will be respawned with, I think, three soul hearts with a dead baby. Not entirely sure. Not too sure on the exact number of soul hearts you are respawned with. But now, as you can see, now that we have reached the cathedral, we are now facing bosses in every room. Well, not every room, but in most rooms. And you have the chance of meeting multiple forms of these bosses. 
in a single room. <laughs> Crap. I cannot be taking hits like that. Well, good news, the game has smoothed out a little bit. Flash does not like red. Don't know why. Okay, fix the chat again. Just yell harder. Okay, it looks like we're doing some more gambling. I don't really have any use of these coins anyway, so why not? Yes, health! Thank you, oh merciful Edmund McMillan. Oh no, this game is very bad. And by bad, I don't mean quality bad, I mean creepy. Why are there demons in heaven? Because they are fallen angels, they just have not made it to Sheol or Hell yet. <laughs> Damn it. Can't be taking damage like this. You know, I honestly don't know what these eyeball things are. There's some debate. They could be poop socks, they could be condoms, they could be leeches, they could be anything. No, oddly enough, I beat the final, 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 final boss, I have to say final four times there, in one try. Only took me one try to beat him. Oh god, double Gemini. Not just Gemini, double Gemini. Quadruple Gemini. Yo, know, this game is totally serious. Um, I, I get, yeah, just don't reveal, well, I don't know. It's up to you. If you want to talk about who the final boss is. I will say this, though. Having a fast fire rate is not helpful against the final boss. That's all I'm going to say about that. Actually, against both of these bosses, the one in the cathedral and the final, final, final area. Exa yeah, exactly. What Seaman just said. You do not want a fast fire rate. Wait, what? How did Velvet get there? I thought Tiggy was up there a minute ago. They trade places. Unless you're really feeling risky, your best bet is to use Bomb against the final two bosses. That way you're doing a lot of damage and you don't have to worry about them countering it. So many. Now I knew that was coming. Lost it off way too soon. Uh, you'll see who the final, 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 final boss is when I get to it. I actually have faith that I can reach it. <laughs> it's not Jesus, no. That was just a joke from earlier. Um, well, I have four and a half hearts, plus my one up. I've currently got the candle. 
and I've got nine bombs. I think I can do it. However, I'm not going to get too cocky. I would like to have more items right now, but I'm semi-confident. Like I said before, the candle is a great item. Oh god, pink spider. Not a good enemy. Pink spider is incredibly fast. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Santa Claus! He knows who's been naughty or nice. And his damage rate it depends on how naughty you've been. Another pink spider? Really? No, oh my god. I've been ambushed. Alright, so we're here. Oh, soul heart, thank you coins that I don't need. <sighs> Here we go. That's right. The boss of the cathedral is Isaac himself. How's that for a plot twist? Ooh, what a twist! And yeah, as you can see, every time I fire and hit him, he fires back at me. Oh yeah, there's still one more level. He's only Isaac right here is only the final, final, final boss. We still have another one. Oh, the lag is not helping me, trust me. Ah, yes, those purple things you see him shooting are homing tears. Thankfully, one other thing I love about the candle is that it is able to block projectiles. Another reason why it is so great. No, 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 no. God, no. Oh my god. Kill him faster. I only have two hits left and I am dead. The true final boss is grammar. I'm not done yet just because I've beaten the boss does not mean... Okay, there we go. Oh. Yeah, the cube of meat definitely saved me. I can easily admit to that. That is why it is a good item. Alright. <sighs> Deep breath for the chest. And the great thing about the chest is that you are...